welcome back. This is a little clip like I had from the last time with the low carb meatloaf where I started by sauteing and almost to the point of starting to caramelize some diced onions. I used it in the meatloaf, but I also used it in the scalloped potatoes I made. What we're starting with here is making a roux for a creamy Parmesan scallop potato. I used two tablespoons of butter, and when I make a roux, I put an equal amount of thickener. So today it's two tablespoons of flour. I'm just using the same pan that I had cooked the onions in. It'll just add some extra flavor. I'm going to add some thyme leaves, or yeah, I always call it thyme. I was gonna say thyme. And the Redmond Real Salt, it looks like a cap full, so that's probably about a teaspoon. Some black pepper. So I whisk that all up so the spices kind of get heated up, brings out the flavor. And I'm going to take heavy whipping cream and I'm just going to use what I have left in the container. That looks like maybe about a cup's worth. Maybe a cup and a half. And I'm going to whisk that very well. And I probably had the heat on maybe about a medium low because I didn't want it too hot because I don't want to curdle my milk. And if you don't want to use heavy cream, you most certainly could use half and half or even a milk if you wanted to cut the fat down to make your roux. That's fine. And you just want to make sure you keep stirring it. You're going to see the little bubbles coming up. And once this actually all starts to bubble really well, then you know that you're at your full potential for the thickness of your sauce. Right there, that's perfect. I layered potatoes that I had washed and sliced. I left the skins on to help cut down the amount of time. I'm going to just take my spoon and I'm going to put some of that roux over the top. And then I'm going to take some of those onions that I cooked and layer a little of them across the top. And then I'm going to take the Parmesan cheese and I'm just going to hand grate over some Parmesan cheese. And I'm doing a second layer of the potatoes. This is the final layer that I'm making. I'm going to use the roux, cover over the potatoes. So using my spatula to scrape all that up and make sure it's all used. And cover over the potatoes. And then I'm going to do a little bit more Parmesan cheese over the top. And I will cover this with foil. And I put it in the oven probably around 350. And I had that baking for a while before I even started my meatloafs. I already put the low carb meatloaf video out last week. Now this is the additional one and two thirds pounds of the grass fed 93% lean beef. I had some pepper that I had over poured in my other meatloaf that I scooped out and had stuck on top of the meat in this bowl. I added in some Italian breadcrumbs, some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue. I was trying to use the rest of that up. Some ketchup, an egg. I added in the cubed cheddar cheese and I mixed everything up really well. And I'm sure I added some salt in that too. And then I just transferred it into my loaf pan and moved the little cheese block pieces around, just making sure to kind of evenly distribute. And I did top it with some Kinder's barbecue a little and spread it. Now I did turn my oven up a little bit higher when I made my meatloaves with the, the potatoes in there to a 400 degrees and I should actually get a thing to read in my oven. I want to see if it actually is getting up to the temperature that it says it is because it is very old. And that's what it looked like when it came out. This is the regular with the Sweet Baby Rays and the Kinders on top. 
the potatoes when they came out you could see how nice and cheesy they were I just take a fork and stab my potatoes to see if they're soft enough when I make a scallop potato like this I do uncover it for maybe the last 10 minutes or so to get some caramelization on top for the cheese and there you can see when I was scooping it out it is a nice creamy potato everyone that ate it said it was very delicious I didn't eat it, of course, because I am low carb. I can put some links to some videos. I mean, not videos, but recipes on blogs that are similar to what I made. If, if you need to see better ratios, I thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.